Hello, this is Dr. David Maza. Today I'd like to demonstrate how to establish the anterior guidance on SAM3 articulator. Um, we have already mounted our maxillary cast based on a axial quick earbud transfer from SAM and also we have mounted the mandibular cast based on maximum intercuspation bite registration. What I'm going to do, we have already actually established, uh, is the horizontal condylar inclination and Bennett angle. And um, horizontal condylar inclination and the Bennett angle has been established. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a um, acrylic material. It's just a regular jet acrylic material. And as we know, the acrylic material during this polymerization and setting goes through four stages. The first stage is the mixing stage or sandy stage. The second stage is called um, sticky stage. Now it's going to go through the doughy stage. That's where I have pick it up, picked it up. And I'm going to be placing it on the um, incisal table. I just spread it out and I just sometimes I go a little bit over the table just to make sure it has a good mechanical retention so it's not going to fall off the um, table very easily. I'm going to make it like a dome shape. Have establishing a good convex surface. All right. I'm going to inverting my articulator, making sure my um, incisal pin belonging to my incisal guide pin assembly is going to be touching in the center of my acrylic material. I'm going to be um, unlocking the um, both condylar centric locking rings by pushing them out to the right and to the left. Now I'm going to be imitating the protrusive right lad retrusive, left lad retrusive, again protrusive, right lad retrusive, left lad retrusive. And then what I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to be locking both contracentric locking rings to make sure the articulator is going to get back to a stable condition. And in this matter, what I have done, we have established our anterior guidance on an acrylic material. We let the acrylic to get set. Thank you.